Rubina, good to see you. Ken Kreitzer, CanVets Media. Uh, how's your week? How's your preparation for the Air Force game going, do you think? Uh, it's been a pretty good week. Um, as far as preparation, I feel like we're installing a pretty good game plan. Um, you know, it's been a good week of practice. Everything's starting to click, uh, starting to figure it out, starting to move faster as a defense on this Saturday since we're, you know, what's, what's in store for us on Saturday. Yeah. You've been through a number of these Army Air Force games. Uh, you've won the last two uh, games. Uh, here, the game two years ago at Mikey Stadium and then last year down in Texas. What do you take from those games that you can focus on uh, for Saturday? Uh, just being able to just, uh, you know, uh, playing triple option is the biggest thing is, you know, just the line of scrimmage. So just, uh, just trying to be a dominant force, just trying to, you know, change the line of scrimmage from a defensive perspective, you know, just be in their backfield, you know, just cancel out some of their, like, bread and butter plays, what they rely on, start, you know, start making them, you know, have to figure it out uh, differently. And and playing a team that runs a lot, they're gonna they run as much as Army does. Uh, w how do you approach that? Is it is a different uh, preparation? And then what do you do on that one those couple of plays when they drop back to pass? Uh, biggest thing is you know uh, just playing here. You know we see it every day. You know so it's not it's not like anything they do is a surprise to us. Uh, you know we practice against the triple option. We know what uh, what the looks are supposed to look like. What the plays are supposed to look like. And um, as far as just everything else, like when you play the run, as long as you're, you know, you're fast off your, off the ball, you got your hands on someone quick enough, you can always convert in the pass. So it shouldn't really catch you, um, catch you off by surprise as, as as much as you think. Very good. And uh, tell, tell us about are the the keys for your defensive line. Uh, like I said earlier, the biggest thing is just uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. You know, um, being being tight on the lineman. You know, making sure that. Uh, we were canceling out gaps and making sure that you know the, uh, the dives can't hit, they can't establish the fullback because that's that's the biggest thing for the game, being able to run the fullback. So just being able to stop that and you know just stop the run as a as a defensive line up front is uh, the biggest thing for us. Thanks, Kavon. Appreciate it. No problem, sir. We'll go to Zoom. <coughs> Sal or Ken? Hey, Kobita, it's uh, South of Black and East. How are you? Good, good, sir. How are you doing? Good. Um, how would you describe the rivalry? Force in your words, how would you describe it? Uh, I'd say pretty, pretty heated. It's a pretty heated rivalry. Um, you know, uh, just having having them always play Navy first, so that making this a pretty big game for them. You know, with the CIC on the line, and then going into last year, you know, making this whole uh, Commanders Classics. So now he does another piece of hardware and bragging rights for the year. Um, I say it's a pretty, a pretty heated, heated uh, rivalry between us. Gotcha. And you're, you're a guy who plays with emotion on the field. In games like this, do you have to curb that, or do you just have, have to, or you just kind of have to be yourself in this game? Uh, it's one of those things where it's uh, emotion. Emotion can only get you so far. Um, at the end of the day, you can be as passionate as you want, but if you're not executing, if you're not uh, doing doing the right call, if you're not, if your eyes and your hands aren't where they need to be, um, you can be as emotional, as passionate as you want, but it's not going to, you know, get the job done. So it's uh you know you have to find that happy medium between the two of them. Is um this game with uh, preparing for this game does it go back to the spring practice with reps against the, the triple option or optional? Yeah, does absolutely. It go back that far? Absolutely. Um, you know it's it's one of those things with just being in the spring, so not having any any games lined up, so just seeing the triple every day in, uh, in practice is one of those things where like you start. Taking these reps and you start putting them, you start saving them and uh, saving them and putting them in the bank for uh, when we get to this when we get to this point of the season. And everything that we've been doing in the spring, everything that we've been doing in the summer, this has been a culmination of us all these things to help just prepare us for these types of games. Thanks so much. No problem, sir. Corbett, Ken McNall with the Times Herald. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Uh, tell me about. Where do you see this team right now in this midway point of the season? And with so many important games coming up, where do you see this Army team? Uh, I, I feel like we're we're finally getting to the swing of things. I feel like we're we're on a we're on an upward upward trajectory for this team. Um, you know, we've had a couple bumps early in the season, and um, you know, looking at the film, we can break it down. We can figure out uh, why 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 games went those certain ways, and. Um, We've kind of just used this. We use this season. We've, we've seen what we know what we're capable of. We know 
uh, the team never never stopped believing in ourselves. You know, we always had that um, always had that belief in ourselves, and I feel like uh, as this this team as we progress through the season and as we you know hit, hit this new stride, um, you know we're on the up and up, and um, I'm just excited for for the for the rest of the season to play out. A common theme that people say about this Army team now is that you're in playoff action every game now. It's like mm -hmm. win or nothing else. Um, is that a? Do you feel that? Is that a good thing? Yeah, you know, it's always, it's always good to have that pressure, have that have that pressure on you when you're playing. Um, but uh, we don't we don't really we don't really see it as a negative thing, you know. Um, just, it's just a metaphor for life, you know. When you're in, when you're living your life, you know you're gonna have your back against the wall sometimes, and there's gonna be a stretch where you just gotta, you know, uh, it's fight or flight. And um, this is what this team is built for, you know. We're just a bunch of tough guys that just that just love to get after it and just love to compete. And regardless of what's going on, like, we'll never run away from the challenge. And you know, I feel like we're we're putting we're we're moving towards our, our best football so far. Last thing. Uh... Coach, I was talking to Coach Woody about the absence of Andre Carter right now. What's it been like playing without him, having to adjust, and how much are you looking forward to his return? Uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a little um, a little different on on the defensive line um, playing without Andre. You know, having having that presence, or, you know, having the All American next to you, being able to you know run, rush the passer and play the run. Uh, it's been a little a little um, a little different, but. Uh, the guys that we've had step up to, you know, just cover down while he's been out have been doing a, a phenomenal job. Um, Fabrice has just been been playing out of his mind these past few games, and um, you know, just the idea, just, you know, whenever Andre does come back and gets back into the lineup, you know, it just it opens up the playbook for so much more. You know, we can do a lot more things when Andre is on the field, and it just allows, you know, for certain, um, it's just. It just allows for the defense to you know to just uh, you know perform better. Thank you. No problem. Ross, after me. <clears throat>